Hello everybody, this is Marcia from One Scrap at a Time and I'm back today with another scrapbook process video for you. This one is for Jisnik Studios. So today I am doing a layout with the Coco Vanilla Studios Bohemian Dream Collection. And this collection is gorgeous. It comes with these chipboard words. And I wanted to use the life is good for my title. But I, I didn't want to leave them as they are with just um, white. I wanted to do something special. So I'm going to emboss the lower half of these letters with a gold embossing powder. So to do this quickly, I'm leaving the words on the chipboard sheet. And I'm just going to protect the areas that I don't want the gold embossing powder on with my washi tape. So the top half will stay white and then the bottom half will be the gold embossing powder. So I am going to be stamping here with a Versamark ink pad um, and making sure that I get all of um, the words covered nicely with my Versamark ink and then I'll pour over the gold embossing powder. So I'll uh, tap off the excess and then I'm going to peel off the washi tape. Once the washi tape is all peeled off, I'll be able to take my um, heat iron um, and go over this and dry um, the embossing powder, heat the embossing powder up actually so that it adheres to the ink. Um, and you can kind of see the embossing powder melting and and clinging to the ink here. Um, it just turned out gorgeous. I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. So before I start adhering anything down, I wanted to get some um, splatters of ink on my background. So I'm using a navy um, color shine. Uh, I think there was a peacock color shine there too and this one is a shimmers um, blue. Uh, they're really really pretty and pulls things together I think with the different colors. Alright so the cut file I'm using today is called Pause to My Heart and it has these paw prints going up and down on one side and then it has these awesome hearts going across horizontally. And I printed it on a pattern paper that had lots of different colors. Um, I just think that the cut file um, turned out beautifully with this pattern paper. And I put it on, um, it's also another sheet of pattern paper underneath, but um, it's kind of a wood grain. Um, so it's, it really stands out beautifully. So I put some foam tape and some excess chipboard on the back of my photo and I'm going to adhere this title directly to my photo so that it overhangs so the um, gold will be right there on the edge where you see where it overhangs. Um, I originally thought that maybe I would scrap um, this in a black and white because uh, I'm wearing a purple jacket. And a lot of times the purple doesn't go with a lot of the collections. Uh, the color just doesn't work out. But with this collection, it works out beautifully. So I'm going to do some background stamping here. I'm using a stamp set from the Coco Vanilla Studios More Than Words collection. And you can see my first stamp there. Um, um, was too close to the chipboard in my title and I couldn't get the stamp there correctly. So I had to go back and stamp it a second time. Um, that worked out um, really well. So this layout is an all about me layout um, for Just Nick Studios. It was for the DT introductions. And so I wanted to share my love for um, animals. I have a lot of cats and dogs. I kind of am a stray magnet. And for a while I was fostering um, for a rescue as well. So this black cat that's in my lap here, um, I picked him up at a local pound along with his brother when he was a few weeks old. 
and he immediately got very, very sick. He had a severe respiratory infection and um, almost died. We ended up having to feed him with an eyedropper um, pretty much around the clock and pace the floors with him just like you would a baby. Uh, and he is by far my favorite cat. I just couldn't get rid of him when it came time to let him go for adoption. So I'm a foster failure too, um, but I don't regret it in the least bit. Um, so I'm doing some more stamping with hearts on my background here. I did a lot of journaling on this layout and I printed it in vellum. And I didn't really adhere the vellum down because I thought once I got my embellishments on here, it would help to adhere it down without me having to use any adhesive underneath it. I don't like the look of adhesive under the vellum. Um, I also had this really cool washi tape with cat heads on it. Um, and that worked out very nicely too because those cat heads are in gold. So they match the title perfectly. So I'm adding a lot of phrase stickers on here now. Precious, the sweetest, um, other things like that. Um, and I did some machine stitching over these as well. You'll see these uh, in the close-ups. All right, so I pulled out a few things for embellishing my layout already. Uh, I wanted to put uh, this chipboard heart on here somewhere. It would matches the hearts and the die cut in. Um, I thought it would help add some dimension too. Um, so this phrase sticker is going to help adhere the vellum down. Uh, especially when I get the machine stitching done over the top. So I want to do uh, another cluster here on the lower left side of my photo. And so I'm pulling out some of these beautiful flower die cuts from this collection. And before I get too far here, I thought it would be really pretty to add some gold thread. So the gold thread matches the gold embossing on the title and it really helps to pull things together. It's really turned out beautifully. Um, so I'm almost um, coming to the end here, putting a few more things on here, adding some enamel dots, and I'm going to call it done. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Uh, I hope you step back real soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.